Hello, dear bird of paradise plant lovers. I am Juliette, the founder of My City Plants. On this channel, I share with you my tips and experience to help you to grow happy and healthy plants. Today, please meet Phoebe. Phoebe is a white bird of paradise that outgrew its planter and needs to get a bigger and more spacious outfit. Just to impress you, I'm gonna show you what this girl looked like three years ago when it was spotted in this planter. Just look at this. Can you see the difference? It's amazing. It's really, really impressive. I can lift up one of the leaves to give you a better idea how much this plant grew in three years. Look at this, guys. Look, look how tall it got. It's fascinating. Catherine, the owner of Phoebe, is clearly taking great care of this plant. It's clean, it's healthy, and it's strong. All it needs is just a bigger pot, a little bit of trimming, and pruning to get it in better shape. After I am done, Repotting Phoebe, I will answer some of the questions I have received from our viewers and customers about what makes plants like Phoebe happy, how to tell if there is an issue, how to know if the plant is root bound and needs to be repotted, how to choose the right size planter. Also, I will share a tip with you about how to know how much water to use for different size plants and know if you used enough or not enough water. Now I'm just gonna put my gloves on and free Phoebe from its tight pencil skirt. You relax and watch me do it. I am sure I will succeed at it. I'm going to start by using this paper to wrap it around stems to raise the leaves up, to elevate a little bit so I can have an easy access and start working on Phoebe. For Phoebe, I am using Lechuza Self-Watering Classico 50 planter. This planter is much bigger, as you can see, compared to the planter that she is right now. The new planter is 19 inch in diameter, where this planter is just 12 inch in diameter. If this is your first time watching our videos, I am a big fan of Lechuza Self-Watering planters. The sub-irrigation system creates perfect environment for plant growth provides drainage, delivers oxygen to the roots, lowers watering frequency three times. If you're curious and you wanna learn more about Lechuza self-watering planters, browse through our playlist, Lechuza self-watering planters. I have provided a link to that playlist in the video description.
Phoebe is all pruned, trimmed, cleaned up, and dressed up in its new outfit. It took me about an hour to get this girl in this perfect shape, in my opinion. I really hope Catherine would like the way her plant looks now. I have added a lot of supportive sticks because if you remember guys, the plant was leaning really, really heavily. Those sticks can be removed in about six months once the plant is stabilized, adapts to its planter, and the, the stems should stay straight up. Now I will tell you how to care for birds of paradise, what makes these plants happy. We'll answer some of your questions about root bound issues, about different common issues, and we'll tell you how to know how much water to use for different size of plants when you're watering them. Let's talk about bird of paradise plants, basic care and needs, and then move to the questions. Overall, birds of paradise are easy plants to grow. They are considered to be fast growing plants. Phoebe here tripled in her size in three years. By the way, guys, did you notice that I have got a new leaf opened up while I was working on this girl? Look at this. Look how big and beautiful this leaf. Bird of Paradise needs bright light. It can handle direct sunlight, but it is not necessary to have a direct sun exposure for this plant. I had a plant like this in my home and it was happily growing by the north facing window. As long as you put it close to the natural light source and the light is bright enough, the plant will be happy. Just remember, in bright light, plants grow faster. The ideal temperature for Bird of Paradise plants is between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Important not to put your plant next to radiator or heat air conditioning unit. If you're turning AC off during warm weather when you're not home or travel, Please remember to keep the fan on or have windows open at all times because air circulation is very important. Bird of Paradise loves humidity. Some leaf splitting is normal even when the plant grows in its native environment. But with the low humidity, the splitting gets more pronounced and the edges of the leaves and the tips are getting dry. Here in New York City, Birds of Paradise plants struggle the most during winter time when we use indoor heating, which drastically lowers humidity levels. Misting plants daily helps, but it is best to have a humidifier nearby. Birds of Paradise need vitamin and minerals just like all plants and just like us people. The best time to feed your plant is spring and summer when it's actively growing. This is my favorite plant food that I use for all the plants. It's made by Good Dirt. You may watch my video about when and how to fertilize plants and I will provide the link to this video in the description below. Cleaning and trimming is very important for the plant's health overall. Clean your bird of paradise once every two or three weeks by simply wiping leaves off dust with a moist paper towel. Dust build up blocks the light absorption and the plant will struggle. Trimming edges, tips, removing bad leaves will keep your plant looking fresh and beautiful at all times. Pruning is something Bird of Paradise plant will require. As you saw, I have pruned Phoebe a lot. I did cut back a lot of leaves. Pruning helps you to keep your plant in the desired shape. You can prune it to any width or height you desire. By the way, I have made a separate video about how to prune Bird of Paradise plants and I also have included a link to this video for you in the video description. So let's talk about adding support to overgrown and big Birds of Paradise. You saw me adding this sticks to Phoebe. Now she's absolutely straight, she's supported, she's not leaning forward. These are great, they come in different sizes. I have used the taller one, which is almost seven feet tall, and the shorter one, four feet tall. For this plant, they are hardy, lightweight, it can be purchased on Amazon. By the way, I do have a separate video about how to straighten up Bird of Paradise, and yes, I will provide the link to that video as well. Soil levels very often get overlooked. It is important to keep the soil level up and top it up when the soil level gets too low in order to provide a proper coverage for the roots, add support to the stems, and prevent the soil from drying out too fast. It's very simple and easy thing to do. Overwatering is number one plant killer. That is why it is very important always 
Always, always test the soil before you water your plants. For the birds of paradise, the soil should be dry halfway through before the plant gets watered. I would recommend testing the soil once every seven to 10 days. This will help you to learn your plant's watering needs. Watering frequency depends on the light, temperature, humidity, and air circulation. In warmer temperatures, in brighter light areas, plant will need to be watered more often. For larger plants, for larger birds of paradise, it is not always easy to check the moisture levels to see how dry the soil is on the lower level with our finger because our fingers are just not long enough to go deep enough. That's why I use for all my plants, I always, always use this tool. It's called Soil Moisture Meter. You need just one tool for unlimited amount of plants and I simply stick the soil moisture meter as deep as possible. You see right now it's really wet, it's all the way in the wet zone and I would test the soil in a few areas and if the moisture levels on the meter in four five zone that's when I water bird of paradise plants. If it's above four and five reading I will wait for a few days and test the soil again before watering the plant. If you have any great tips to share with your fellow bird of paradise plant lovers please write them down in the comments below. Now I will answer some of the questions I received from my viewers and customers and the question number one is is drainage important for potted plants? And the answer is yes, yes, and many time years. Plants that are potted in pots without drainage are at high risk of being overwatered, which leads into a root rot, and as the result, the plant will die. So make sure that your pot has a drainage hole or pot your plants, and the lechuza self watering planters that do provide drainage. Does pruning bird of paradise plants stop new leaves from growing out? And the answer is no. The new leaves will shoot out between the leaf stem. As you can see here, this new leaf is growing out between this leaf stem and also the stem that was pruned back. And it's happily, strongly growing out and will open up in time. How often do I need to repot bird of paradise plant? Birds of paradise are not slow growers, so on average they need to be repotted once every two years. Phoebe lived in her pot for three years. If I got my hands on her a year ago, believe me, it would have been so much easier for me and for her to get into the new pot and I wouldn't have to completely destroy the old pot to get her out. How I can tell if my bird of paradise plant is, oops, is root bound. If all of a sudden you had to start watering your plant more frequently, if there is no soil between the planter wall and the root system, if the water is running right through like nothing is holding it up, or if you see the roots poking out of the drainage hole, then you know your plant is root bound. How to choose the right size pot for my bird of paradise? When it comes to bird of paradise, they are moisture-loving creatures. I would recommend to select a pot that is three to five inches wider than the original container and three to five inches deeper. We do not want to put the plant in a very big pot because all that excess soil, if moisture is not used, stays wet for too long and that leads to root rot and all other issues. Also, birds of paradise do not mind living in a tighter pot. They will put all their energy into shooting new leaves for you instead of growing more roots. How to know how much water I need to use to water my bird of paradise plant? This is how I do it. I'm going to demonstrate it on this baby bird of paradise potted in eight inch pot. The way I do it, I look at the pot and I say to myself, all right, how much water will it take to fill up this pot completely? I think the full watering can like this, 
That's exactly what it will take to fill it up. Then I divide this amount in half. So I will get rid of half of this amount of water. All right. And I only use half of this amount. Now, before you water your plant, make sure there are no gaps spacing between the soil and the planter edge. Push the soil down before you water your plant to make sure there are no openings. Otherwise, the water is just gonna simply run all the way down through and the soil is not gonna get well saturated. After the soil is pushed, I can start pouring water. It has to be done very slowly. We want to make sure we provide enough time for the soil to absorb the moisture. So I will use half of the divided amount and I slowly pour it around the plant. And then once I used half of this amount, I will stop and I'll wait for a few minutes. I will allow the water to slowly go towards the bottom of the pot. After a few minutes, if I do not see any water coming out at the bottom of the planter, I will continue pouring the rest of the water and again, slowly and watching the bottom of the pot. This tells me I've used enough water. Before I place the plant back in the saucer, I would need to get rid of this water because we do not want our plant to stand in water. So you see my plant got well watered and I did not have to use the whole amount of water. I still have some left in here. After you do it a couple of times, you will know exactly how much water each plant size needs for you to water it. You can also use the same tool I mentioned earlier, soil moisture meter to make sure that your plant got what it needs. You simply, after you water the plant, you simply stick the meter in and it should go all the, as deep as possible and it should go all the way to the wet zone after watering. What are the most common signs that my bird of paradise plant is not happy and what it is trying to tell me? So let's start with curling leaves. If your bird of paradise has its leaves curling in, the plant is dehydrated. Adjust your watering, make sure you test the soil frequently, use the right amount of water so the water can reach the bottom roots and your plant gets what it needs. Dry edges and heavy splitting is a result of low humidity. Misting is good, as I said earlier, but it is best to have a humidifier near your bird of paradise plant. Weak stems and the lack of the vibrance, the depth of the green color is the result of low light. So move your plant closer to the light source and make sure it gets a nice, good, bright light. Some sun will be much appreciated too. Leaves having a hard time to fully open up, just like this leaf here. This is the result of root bound or lack of nutrients. So check your plant to see if the pot is way too small for it now and make sure you feed your plant spring and summer when it's actively growing. If your plant is slowly growing where it should really be growing a lot, like at least one leaf once in a while, then you might have a light issue and also lack of nutrients. So make sure your plant gets a good amount of light and feed your plant every spring and summer. Brown spots on leaf brown soft edges, yellowing, mold, black flies, all this is a sign of plant being overwatered. I strongly recommend for you to watch my video, How to Save an Overwatered Plant. The link, of course, in the video description to learn how to deal with this issue and how to manage the problem. I hope you have learned a few things about Bird of Paradise plant and now know what it takes to make this plant happy. And I really, really hope you'll love Phoebe's new look. 
I would love to learn your best tips about growing Bird of Paradise successfully, so please share your tips with me and others in the comments below. Hit like if you enjoyed this video, take care of yourself, take care of your plans, thank you for watching and have a green day.